So Portia Williams is responding to everyone's reaction to the big fight scene from her new reality show. And now her cousin is exposing her for the false narrative on her reality show. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So if you missed our recap of Portia's Family of Lies last night, be sure to check that out. We'll post the link in the description of this video. We had a lot of really great conversation about everything going on there, and the conversation continues in the comments section. Well, Portia is addressing what everyone has been saying on the show. And honestly, there are a lot of Portia fans that have turned on her since the whole Simon Gobadi a mess, but even more so with her reality show. As you saw on the episode, a producer actually stops the filming and is like, what's happening here? Why is no one addressing the fight? Well, now Portia is taking to her social media to clear some things up. But if anything, she's not really clearing anything up. But let's take a look at what she says. And shout out to our friends at OMFG Reality TV. Uh, they captured what she said. And she says this. There is a lot that viewers didn't get to see tonight. And I wish we had more cameras to capture that, which I understand is nobody's fault. I've learned in the past that physical violence is never okay, especially when a man is causing physical harm to, to women. That is something we are too desensitized to as a, as a society. I spoke to some of my family members that were present and decided at the time it was best not to talk about what cameras didn't get to capture because I was trying to protect Dennis, his business, and therefore our own daughter. Looking back, that was not the right idea. I take accountability for reacting strongly to what I was seeing and hearing. While I was not physical with Miss Gina, I regret arguing with an elder. We're six months removed from this incident and I'm looking forward, not backwards. Look, Portia is trying to save some bags. Not, and it's not the bag that you guys are thinking of. It's not, oh, her work with Black Lives Matter or those involved in that movement. It's really her bag with everything else. As you know, Andy Cohn has said multiple times that the Real Housewives franchise and the spinoffs are not Bad Girls Club. It's not Love and Hip Hop. However, after he says this, we get this horrendous scene where... Everyone else, yes, that, that's involved, is there, but it's Portia Williams that looks the worst. So many fans of Portia Williams have been reacting on social media to her behavior on the show during that fight and her reportedly attacking Mama Gina. She says that she didn't physically attack her, but something sparked Dennis to react. And I've said this during my recap, Dennis is not innocent. He's not innocent in any shape or form in, in his relationship with Portia Williams. But at the same time, he has checked his mother multiple times on the show not to get involved. And that a lot of time is our biggest critique of Ben and when we call them mama's boys. No, he really does step in and check his mom not to get involved in his relationship. With that being said, her saying, oh, I was trying to protect him. Girl. Literally in the instance before the fight happens, you're calling security after the incident. You're saying we're going to get the Mexican pol Mexican police involved. Come on. I know you're trying to spin a narrative the same way you try to spin that narrative on the show by telling your family members not to talk about it the next day because you want to protect him. No, Portia, you wanted to protect yourself. And it's, it's becoming very clear how calculated you really are. And I think people that loved you, didn't love you, whatever, whatever, are seeing more clearly who you are. And now your cousin, not Storm, another cousin, is revealing that she was asked to be on the show, but she did not want to be a part of spinning any narrative Portia wanted to spin. So um, shout out to our friends over at the Neighborhood Talk. They captured this um, they captured the screenshot of her in Dennis's comment section and also her Instagram story. Let's take a look what she said on Dennis's comment. So Dennis posted a lovely picture of Mama Gina and said this. He says, the good reference guides, Bible and Quran teaches us to honor our mother and father and our days will be long and plentiful. This means others, other folks, parents too, and kinfolk too, neighbors too, and the needy too. Hashtag happy Sunday. Well, Lady T. Ford, Portia's cousin, commented in that section, in, in Dennis's comments and says this. That's right here. 
but everybody wasn't raised with the same principles. Who raised you is the question at hand. Hashtag respect your elders. Is she, is she taking a jab at Mama Diane? She continues to say in, in response to some other people, she says, that's what's wrong with people today. We talking about morals and principles and then and they equate it to jealousy. Lord help us because we ain't going to make it with this generation. Well, Lady T Ford goes in her Instagram stories and says more. Says more. She says, and to answer some of y'all questions so I don't have to answer them anymore. Was I asked to be on the show? Yes, but I declined simply because I knew initially they wanted to create a fake, quote, narrative that Portia has a, quote, village that agreed to her, to all her BS, and she doesn't. Do you still talk to Portia? Nope. After not hearing from her or Diane since my mom passed, and then months later asked to do a show, absolutely not. I'm not a seat filler. Do I agree with Portia and Simon's relationship? I don't agree with messing around better yet being engaged to a married man, which I told her my thoughts and her and her response, among a few other words, be blessed. And oh, have the Lord been blessing me. She also says, for the record, I'm no one's ass kisser, seat filler, flunky or groupie, never have been and never will be. And I for damn sure not one to call out of convenience. Hashtag when you can't control the narrative. Hashtag there lies the truth. Hashtag I said what I said. And lastly, anyone who agrees or condones that behavior, I want no parts. My parents raised me better than that. And she also posts a public apology to Mama Gina. She says, and at blessing to you too. If no one publicly has apologized to you, I will apologize on behalf of our family. You didn't deserve that, Mama Gina. And I have to agree. Look, Mama Gina has not been perfect since we've seen her on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But her trying to have them move on from the conversation about Dennis and what happened in the past in a public space where they're trying to co-parent and there are people that are not involved in the situation. They are Portia's former assistant and Portia's workers. Yeah, let's move on. Have this discussion separately. If your true intention is to have a co-parenting relationship with Dennis, uh, people understand that you might still be triggered by him cheating on you while you were pregnant. No one's saying that you can't have that. But having that conversation on camera, having that conversation in front of all of these people, including Storm, to have an opinion is not the way to do it. If that was your true intention of co-parenting. Lord, guys, I did not expect on this Monday morning to be talking about Portia Williams some more. But look, they're trying to get a season two. But next week is the season finale. And hopefully the final time we have to see Portia fa Portia's family of lies. As always, let's continue the conversation below. I want to know your thoughts on what Portia's cousin had to say. What your reaction to last night's episode of Portia's family of lies is. As always, guys, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Happy New Year, and thanks for watching.